This video has been supported by these lovely people you see before you. With the support I get from my Patreons, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me give back to you guys so I can afford to do giveaways and tutorials more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel and get some great rewards. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody and welcome to finally episode 2 of my P.O. Box series. Just a quick little video today because I've been receiving a few things in my P.O. Box and from Capricorn on the weekend so I figured I would stop and I would open them up and show you guys what I got. So we've got, basically we've got a letter, we've got a package and we've got some stuff from Capricorn. So let's just jump right on into that. Alright, so this one comes from, it looks like Betsy the Chipmunk from um, NH, I don't know what NH is. I'm not, a, I don't speak freedom. All right. So it looks like they have some photos of some suits that they've made right off the bat. They look really awesome. They're so colorful. I love them. Hi Sky, my name is Betsy the Chipmunk. I'm 21 years old and from New Hampshire, US. There we go, New Hampshire. I love all of your fursuit work. I'm a fursuit maker too. My upcoming fursuit business name is called Chipmunk Dream Studios. I've been making fursuits since the summer of 2015. I've made a couple of fursuits for friends and I've managed to sell a few pre-mades and mini partials on Dealer's Den. One of my pre-made mini partials has even travelled as far as Luxembourg in, in, in Europe. In Europe. I was even lucky enough to meet up with someone who bought my pre-made dingo partial at Ethro New England 2018. I have a few questions for you. After I'm moving to a new town this summer, I really want to open commissions, but I don't want to open till I write up a terms of service. Is it okay to look at another maker's terms of service for a basic idea of what to write? Also, do you have any other certain tips on writing a terms of service? My second question is, is there anything else I need to know before opening for commissions? My last question is, can I commission an artist to make a logo for my first food business or do I have to create it myself? If I can get it drawn by another artist, do you have any artist recommendations? I want to thank you for your tutorial, especially the Puffy Paw tutorial. They've been a huge help when I don't know where to start. I've included pictures of my first suit work. I hope you like what I've made so far. Betsy the Chipmunk. And there's some, some links which I'll pop down below so you guys can go check out her stuff. She's done really, really, really well, I think. Yeah, look at that. Look how colorful, I like the canine dragon. That's probably my favorite, this one down here. To answer your question, yes, it's completely okay to have a look at other makers' terms of service. That's how I wrote mine. And the start is I went and looked at different makers terms of service and I also was like okay you know I like that bit I like that bit I like that bit it's obviously going to be unique to you because it's your terms of service but take your time with it and think about kind of issues you may have had in the past and how you could fix it by updating your terms of service you will update it over time because problems will happen and you'll be like hmm I should probably add something in my terms of service about this hmm Anything you need to know before opening for commissions, be patient. Um, I really do recommend taking on suits that you like. If you see a suit you like, and say for example they're commissioning a head, but you have a character that you don't like, and they're commissioning a digi full suit, whilst you might get more money for the character who's commissioned, the person who's commissioning a digi full suit, take the head that you prefer to make, simply because you can put more energy into it and you can be inspired by that character and ultimately you, the suit will come out looking better. Uh, in terms of logos, I got my logo done by a lovely girl called Lauren on Facebook. She made mine, you can draw it yourself, but in terms of getting the right file formats and like vectors and all that fancy stuff, I would really recommend going with an illustrator or an artist. Um, I think I got charged like 30 bucks for mine if I remember correctly, but other people will charge different amounts, so have a shop around and see what you can find. Right, I hope that answered all of your questions and thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your letter, Betsy. I really appreciate it. All right, next we have ugh, the box. The box. Now this is from, actually from a patron of mine called Korok. He is from the Netherlands and he sent me this big box. So I figured I would open it, but um, it is duct taped pretty tightly together. So I have a special tool. Top off. How about that? How about that? There we go. Come on. Hey! I'm in! I'm in! Aha! Alright, what do we have?
have here? So, first of all, I believe this is a duct tape dummy because he's planning on commissioning a sick for me in the future. And there's something inside the duct tape dummy. <laughs> oh dear. Ugh. Get out! <sighs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna just duct tape dummy. You go over there. Alright, it seems like we have some. I think there's a Norwegian treat. Um, there's things in. Okay, no, I thought that was lewd. Never mind. So, first thing I fell out was this orange drink called Solo. We have Solo in, a, in Australia, except it's lemon drink, and it doesn't look like this. And it's all in Norwegian, so I don't know what's in it. Two pant! Two pant! I don't know what that means. So we've got orange beverage. Orangey. Alright, we have... Oh, dear. This is like the vaguest packaging I've ever seen. Oh god, I'm gonna butcher these names. I'm so sorry. Quick. Quick lunch. There's a lunch, is that like an Englishman, a quick lunch? Oh god, the top word makes me cry. I don't know what that is. Um. Tiek. Chocolade. I think it's chocolate, because it sounds like chocolate, maybe. Says that. Concern. And I have three of these. Three of these. Woo! Oh, no, wait, 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 there's another one. Four of those! What the cross? Mocha Bona. Nindan. Norway explained. What is this? Dark chocolate beans with coffee. So I think they're dark chocolate coated coffee beans. Which I know my partner will like. Nicole really like these. I'll have to do a taste testing video with Balford again to um, try these out. But thank you. That, that looks, I don't, why is your packaging so vague? I can't tell that this is chocolate coated coffee beans by looking at it. I'm like, why is there a dancing woman on the front? I don't have enough. Now, now that's the thing that's scaring me. Hapa. Okay, this just looks like curry paste to me. I don't know about y'all, but that's what our curry paste looks like. And that's in, that's in Norwegian. It's all in Norwegian. I have literally not a clue what is in this jar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it, hold on. Oh, 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 it's oily. Hold on. Okay, it tastes like toffee. I think it's a sp maybe this is like a Norwegian noise from of Vegemite. But I will try this on an episode of Taste Buds and we will see how that goes. It tastes alright. I was worried, immediately worried it was going to taste like turmeric or something and I don't like turmeric. So those of you who didn't see, I was at Capricorn this weekend. That's up in Rockhampton in the northern regions of Queensland. And I was lucky enough to hang out with some awesome Rocky Furs. And I was lucky enough to have some of them give me some fan art and gifts. So I'm going to be showing you guys some art that I got from Misty Loves Cookies on Instagram. She's amazing. You should really check her out. She's a sweetheart. So she gave me mini he little headshot of Sky, which is absolutely damn adorable. A grump boy. A grump boy. He's so cute. And then we got two, two little tiny, two little tiny, tiny boys. No! Fell! There we go. These are gonna go on my wall behind me once I find stuff that actually sticks to the wall <laughs> and doesn't take paint off. So those, and she also got me these two, which have gotten a little bit crumpled, unfortunately, in the ride back from Rocky. But she did this one, which is probably my favorite. Look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. Oh, I love it so much. She looks so shy. And then <laughs> Forks went with me as well. And if any of you have, you have actually seen me and Fork side by side, he's very tall and I am very short. So there you go. <laughs> There's the height comparison there, which is probably about accurate. Fork's is probably even a little bit taller than me, actually. There's that one. And she was also crazy generous to, to give me a t-shirt with Sky on it. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that amazing? Hey, look, look, I'll put it on. Ready? 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 
Oh yeah, there we go. Isn't that better? Now I got one more thing at Capricorn. I'm gonna quickly grab it. So I got one more badge when I was at Capricorn and I don't know, actually know the name of the person who drew it from me. Aha, thank you. This is from Tully Karma Dog, who is also very, very lovely. They had an awesome suit. It's a smiler suit, it was so cool. But they did me this, this awesome little badge, which is amazing. I love it very, very much. But yes, that pretty much concludes this week's P.O. Box video. Um, if you guys want to send me something, I would absolutely love to get it. The reason why there hasn't been that many P.O. Box videos is because I've been getting letters, getting so super excited that I have something in my P.O. Box and reading it and going, oh wait, I was supposed to film that, <laughs> whoopsies. But I promise I will open it on video. I promise you. So. If you guys want to send me something, whether it be snacks from your country, even just a simple letter, I love everything you guys send me, no matter how small, no matter how big. And I'll open it on camera for you guys. So the address is Sky High Studios, PO Box 82, Green Slopes, Queensland, Australia, and the postcode is 4120. And if you send that to me, I'll get it out of my box and I'll open it for you guys on camera. Can't wait to see what you guys send me this time. I love you all so very, very much. You are a wonderful, generous people. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.